Welcome to the fifth and final video of Section 7 of Creating Reports with SQL Server 2012 Reporting Services. Upon completing this video, you will know how to place two sub-reports onto one report and also know how we can reuse any existing report in another report. SSRS report definitions are reusable objects which may be embedded into other reports as sub-reports. Let's begin by going to the Solution Explorer, right-clicking on Reports, selecting Add, and then New Item. We will click on the report in the middle pane of the Add New Item window. Let's name this new report subreports.rdl and then click on Add. We see an empty report body. To add a subreport object, we can drag a subreport object from the toolbox to the report body. To display the toolbox, type Ctrl Alt X simultaneously. Or we can right click on the report body and choose Insert and then choose Subreport. Whichever method we choose, a subreport object is placed on the report body. We will resize the subreport object to make it wider. Now we need to assign an existing report to the subreport object. Let's right click on the subreport object and choose Subreport Properties. Let's choose Pie Chart from Use This Report as a Subreport drop down box and then click on OK. We see where the Pie Chart label is applied to the subreport object. Now let's insert another subreport object by right clicking on an empty place in the report body, selecting Insert, and selecting Subreport. Let's resize the new subreport to match the Pie Chart subreport. Next, let's right click on the subreport object and choose subreport properties. Let's choose bar chart from the use this report as a subreport drop down box and then click on OK. Now, let's preview our report to see our two subreports. Make sure when deploying reports that contain subreports that all the report objects are deployed to ensure the reports work correctly. In summary, fortunately for report developers, SSRS report definitions are reusable objects. Existing reports may be embedded into other reports as subreports. It is very important to test the report containing subreports in Visual Studio and on the report server. It is also important to check the visual presentation on the report server and to check the printed reports formatting.